This is an easy puzzle on its own, but you should know that it is also a map to the triangle puzzle later on. Squares correspond to pillars, breaks correspond to the walls that pop up, and the orange dots correspond to where you'll find the triangle puzzles. When you're solving this puzzle, you're drawing the path you'll want to take through the maze, so try to solve it as efficiently as possible so it's both easy to memorize and quick to sprint through. As far as memorizing it goes, there are a few strategies I like to use. The most commonly used method is to either pick the left or bottom edge of the panel as your bottom row, and then memorize the row numbers you draw the solution through. For example here, I would memorize 00355, because the first two line segments are in the bottom row, the third line segment is three spaces up, and the last two line segments are five spaces up. From this angle, I'd memorize it as 22233 for the same reason. Just make sure you remember which side of the panel you memorized it from. Sometimes the path might hook back, making memorizing using just numbers a little difficult. Uh, in these cases, I use short words or letters to help. For example, if I see a zigzag, I'll memorize that as an S, which means I'd memorize this panel as S2255. Use whatever words and shapes are easiest for you to remember. It also may be easier to memorize the maze by thinking of it as a polyomino puzzle. So here's how I'd visualize this puzzle, for example. This way you only have to memorize two or three shapes instead of a sequence of numbers. If you're more of a spatially oriented person, this might be a good choice for you. If you get a maze that you don't think you'll be able to memorize and can afford the small time loss, solve it incorrectly and get a new one. Whatever you memorize, repeat it to yourself as you're solving the puzzles between now and the actual maze. If it helps, do it out loud. Forgetting isn't fun, it wastes a lot of time to run back to the maze and double check or to just wing it and pray you find the triangle puzzles. Don't do that. In the maze itself, keep in mind that although you'll know where the triangle puzzles are located, they could be on either of the two pillars you run past. The best way to handle this is to keep your camera straight ahead as you're running through the maze and catch the triangle puzzles at the side of the screen as you run past. Using a high field of view setting helps. Just make sure you don't pause the game and try to change it mid-run because that resets the challenge. 